Okay. Um, so I started this piece about probably about a month ago. I've been off of work now for actually this makes my third whole week of not working. Not working at Wyndham. I still I still do work. Just not You know, not work for the devil. You know, I, I had to give that up, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, not nothing too fancy as far as the paints go. Obviously, you see there's just some cheap, basic paint. And I went to town. You know, th these ones aren't aren't that difficult to do. Obviously, um, you know, you have you have to go over them. You know couple of layers because as you saw I'm not using really expensive paint but that's just you know it comes with the territory and this um this this audio that I'm doing is kind of interesting too um, I'm inspired by a youtuber uh, Peter Draws, if you don't know who he is, um, I definitely recommend giving him a look-see. Like, he's trying to, like, get outside of the window. <sighs> escape. Escape artist. Alright, well. If she, um, if she takes off in the middle of this recording, then... You know, you guys can watch this on your own. You know, you don't mean, need me to tell you what's going on, but <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I enjoy I enjoyed this one. Um, it was my first full painting that I got to record, like from start to finish. So that's kind of cool. I've been wanting to do this for a while and do these time lapse videos just to get a chance to see what it actually looks like with my own work. I guess there's something satisfying about watching them in general. So, plus, um, I've been told that watching this video or watching these videos, because I have a couple videos done already, I just need to do all these audio for them, and I'm a little not used to that part, having to talk to myself for a little while and expect other people to sit here and listen to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a couple other ones done. I just have to do the audio for them, but um, my girlfriend was saying that when she was watching one of the videos, she didn't really uh, see the painting the way that she saw it after she had seen it in the video, if that makes sense. Like... When you're painting and you're making you're making art, like right there actually, um, that that little area that I just painted, where the it's supposed to be purple, but I, I dipped the purple brush into the black paint and didn't realize until I painted the whole shape in. So you'll notice I'll have to go back over it, you know, later with white and paint over it and make it look better. But um, that's the type of stuff that you don't see in a final product, you know. You don't really get the chance to live the ups and downs of the painting. Because that's another thing, too, that I'm learning in this, is that each painting really does have its own, like, story. You know, it's... it's you, you go through, like, lessons, I guess, you know. you got to learn how to overcome certain obstacles when you do these things. And not even just obstacles like with the painting itself, but like internally, like obstacles within yourself. You know, that's another part about this um, curriculum that I enjoy. You know, you learn a lot about a lot about yourself through art like this. I uh, encourage people to. You know, try and try and make something that's not from some kind of a reference. Like, just make something. You know, 
from the depths of your mind. Just pull it out of there and throw it on a piece of paper or something, you know? And, like, be serious about it, too. Take your time. That's another th thing that I have to work about or work on is, like, patience. Yeah, you know, try and make something that's from the interior of your mind and bring it to the exterior realm of reality. See, there I go, painting over that thing. You know, because that's when that's when you really learn about your your personal attention to detail. You know, how much things really matter to you and how much time you're willing to spend on certain aspects you know like is this little little tiny block really gonna make that much of a difference if the paint you know if it if it crosses over that line just the tiniest little bit you know you'll notice it but that's and see that's the difference with these time-lapse videos too it's like you give a, another person an opportunity to see that side of things for once but you know, in the moment, you have to make that decision. Is it worth it? So, let's see here. I'm using a an acrylic marker. I would recommend looking into those, too. If you are getting into painting, they're not that expensive. At least not the ones that I bought. They're like the, you know, the basic brand. But they do a decent job. It's it's um, satisfying to be able to put down nice, clean lines of paint. As opposed to trying to use a brush. I did that a couple of times with a few other paintings that I've done. And, I mean, unless you're like a master of the craft which I am most certainly not, then you're going to be kicking your ass for quite some time over the uh, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, over the uh, consistency is that what I'm looking for? Consistency of the line. You're looking for something that's, you know, good the whole way through. You know, and that circles back down to the whole, you know, attention to detail thing. That's when I used to do it, you know, with the paintbrush. And that gets all, uh, warbly. You know? You start kicking yourself in the ass because it's like, oh great, now I gotta go back over this again and try and make it even better and I don't know. That's another thing too. When it comes with paintings like this, you learn about life. How I was saying earlier, you learn about yourself and your own attention to detail. Well in paintings you have to be patient. You know, you have to learn about taking your time. And letting your mistakes, you know, actually settle and, 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 you know, stick there for a second. That's the other thing. The other thing. There's lots of things. But in a painting, if you mess up, you go outside the lines. You try and take some more paint. You try and smear it over that, you know, it never happened type of thing. You're only going to make your problems worse. That's part of part of the learning, you know, you have to, sometimes you just have to let your mistakes, you know, let your mistakes dry out, you know, give them a chance to breathe, you can always go back over them later, you know, and fix things then, but right now, once you mess up, just sit with it, you know, punish yourself, sit with it there, and think about what a bad boy you were. <laughs> Well, I think that's it. So I'm going to try and work on this some more for you guys. 
mostly for myself, but I'll try and work on this more for myself so I can finally say that I have a time lapse video done and up and running and for the world to see. But one step at a time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.